a lot of people know about the fight or flight response, right? You see something scary, uh, a bear is chasing you down and you know you freak out all of a sudden, um, your body is sending off all these signals to your eyes to dilate so you can see better, to your muscles to tense up so you can run faster, fight if you need to. Um, you start sweating more, uh, all your blood flow kind of shifts to your muscles and things like that. And so that's really helpful in the short term to be able to deal with whatever you have to deal with. But we have to be able to turn that off because if we leave that system on all the time, it's going to cause damage. And we've seen that the medical research has shown that causing damage like, you know, issues like high blood pressure, chronic headaches, chronic fatigue, um, heart disease, immune related issues. There's all these kinds of negative consequences of prolonged stress responses. And so, and especially for young children, there's lots of research showing about how like prolonged stress is really, really linked to poor health in adulthood. Again, I'm gonna stop myself before I dive too long on that. But the really, really important part about that is understanding how we can turn the stress response off and recognizing that it is a response to something and like any response, you have control over it. 